Today I am doing my first ever road race, Cat 3-4, down in Wool near Bournemouth. Guys, I cannot wait for this. I'm looking forward to it, very nervous. Welcome back to the What Life. Let's roll. So I am completely new to road racing and this is going to be a little bit of a noob account of everything so I do apologize to you seasoned professionals. I was invited down to this race back in January at the start of the year by the RD Tom and the first things first was to sign on, pick up my bib and he explained a few things to me. You are no longer under the race rules, okay, so you, your junctions won't be shut for you, you have to abide by the highway code, you have to abide by the laws of the road, it's as simple as that. All good though, because it sounds like I got it pretty much straight away. And then what happened, who, what? Race number with an icon on. Yeah. It's 40 plus category. Perfect. So there's a first, second, and third for 40 <gasps> plus as well. 50. Awesome. So it's time to sort the bike out. <laughs> I put my chain on this morning and it's a SRAM train with the, the, the flat top. I managed to put it on the wrong way around. So I had the flat top under, it was a flat bottom basically. I had a flat bottom train change. I had to swap that round. I put that on at 5 a.m. this morning, so don't at me. Swap that over, so we're good now. A um, little bit anxious about it. Five and a half loops, 56 miles. I think the cool thing that I'm looking forward to is the fact that it's a Cat 3-4, but it, it, it has all the trappings of a, of a proper road race. You know, your, your escort for corners and closed roads and... I just think that's that's quite cool. I'm looking forward to that. I just, as always, anxious about holding groups, staying on, staying in the group. You know, what happens if I get dropped off? Not that anyone cares. I'll just come back or finish the race. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but the plan is to hold wheels, sit in the group, and try and stay with it. Also, as I see other people getting ready, I woke up at 5 a.m., put my race suit on, and then put the clothes over the top, and I've just realized that I have to put the bib numbers, the numbers on the back of your bib. So how do you do that? Is that like, that's my first like noob rookie error. First time riding in a skin suit. We'll figure it out. So yes, this is me sitting butt ass naked in my car, pinning my numbers to the back of my skin suit. This is the first time I've worn a skin suit and I actually think that the Rule 28 skin suit has pockets in the back that you can actually slide your numbers into. I didn't know this, just another little rookie error along the way, but we'll learn. I can't be the only person that's ever done that. Apologies. It's not, it's not bad, is it? I mean, for slightly deeper wheels and stuff, so... There is a lot of aero kit here. Aero, aero suits, skin suits, aero socks. So this is this is the cool thing is... This, what's your name, sorry? Jack. Jack. Jack is 18 years old, I'm 42. <laughs> okay. So the interesting thing is the, the race that we're doing is, the, is in the end of September, 30th, I think it's like the 30th of September. Jack needs a few more points. He basically needs a podium today to get to Cat 2. So he's a Cat 3 rider, 18 years old. And I think that's basically what is happening today is we have a bunch of guys who are trying to pick up some extra points at the end of the year so they can be Cat 2. And then I've basically just got to try and not <laughs> get my ass two-handed to me by these 18 year olds that are here to tear up the race. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that sounds about <laughs> right, to be honest, mate. And none of those stupid 600 pound pulley wheels are mine. <laughs> it looks nice, though. It looks nice. Throwing shade at the pulley wheels. And I'm gonna have to take it. Because I have to take it from the whole internet anyway. And this is Paul, who's come. Oh. You're quite, lo no, not local, but you've stayed, you've, you've stayed, stayed local, local from Portsmouth, who has warned me about the young kids that are here to pick up <laughs> extra points. <laughs> 
Um, but I, as for my first race, the, the one thing I'm enjoying so far, because we've got no idea how it's going to go, is is just meeting people and chatting, chatting crap, if you will, in the car park. Probably the best bit of bike racing so far. <laughs> this bit. But it's 9 a.m. now. Race starts at 10 a.m. I'm going to kit up, keep my jacket on, go out for a ride, just see how the bike feels. Hopefully, you know, just it's all set up correctly. Sort out my nutrition, gels, etc. Like I said, it's 56 miles. It's flat, it's a triangle. And this is the really cool thing about it. As I said, it's a Cat 3 4, but it has all the trimmings of a, of a proper. I don't really know how you how you describe it, but like a proper bike race with with bike escorts, car escorts, not road closures, but they they kind of help uh, mitigate the flow of traffic. So you have to stick to all the road rules, which is riding on the left hand side. But in theory, you know, with some of the corners, don't break the road rules. As in, if it's a double white line in the centre, don't cross it. But you have more less to worry about because. They are doing their best to keep the flow of traffic away from us, which is, that's awesome, huh? Right, let's get suited and booted. Oh, this is the best thing ever. This is my first ever race, and guys, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a skin suit that I am excited to show you, because I basically, when I'm in it, you just probably couldn't tell there's any difference between me and Dylan Johnson. Caught their tactical session. <laughs> so let's get into this one. I got one piece of advice before this race, which is do not sit at the back, do not fall off the back, try and get up the front and try and stay there. So this is me off the back, falling off the back. And this is actually the neutralized zone before the race starts. You can see here, this is the course, it's looped. So you get five and a half loops. That half loop is simply just getting to the start finish point along the course, which basically means that it was neutralized or meant to be neutralized for a certain period of time. Obviously being placed right at the back, I didn't actually know when we were in inverted commas racing I just knew that all I had to do was try and stay with the group. And that was my plan for the day. Nothing dramatic, nothing glorious. I was just trying to stick with it, stay with the crew, be in the mix. That was my plan. And at first, not being 100% comfortable, I was more at ease with just sitting further back. Obviously, the further back you sit, it's just easier. Being a complete noob to road racing, I did have a few problems, and this is one that a lot of people can probably relate to. Ah, oh, aero socks falling down. Gosh, what is more annoying than cycling with an aero sock that has half fallen down? Anyway, the race. As I said, five loops, so it doesn't make it the most dramatic race. You can see, or hopefully I will tell you in a second, it's not a hilly race at all. It's pretty much flat. I was really enjoying just kind of sitting in the group, being mid-pack. There were 79 people registered for this race and you will see in a minute just kind of how the numbers work out during the entire race. I'll break it down to you. Out of the five laps, the first two were the fastest. We then realized that in actual fact, we weren't gonna get away from anyone. And I say we, that's not me, that's the crew, that's them, that's the guys at the front. They realized that there was no one was gonna get away so we had to kind of chill and we do two laps fast, we then do two laps very easy, one of which was just like a cafe lap, cafe loop, coffee stop, literally chatting, it was really nice, I enjoyed it, great to chat, but it did take a bit of the heat out of the race. Here is the gradient for the loop, and you can see that the downhill section is obviously a pretty chill section, and then this is the spicy bit, we're 11 miles in, use the map, you can figure it out, just coming into the climb. And here we go. <clears throat> the first two loops were the fast ones. And I'm gonna take you through those in a second. 
because those are the interesting bits and then it kind of chills chills out a bit but I'm doing everything I can to get more comfortable with it I actually found having ridden in chain gangs over the summer I was super comfortable kind of sitting in the group I didn't mind that whatsoever I just was not a hundred percent uh, confident in my own cycling abilities as to like just performance like do I want to be near the front how much harder is it near the front big thanks to Chris for providing the drone footage as he was out there today and you can see the three riders off the front then a small little selection and then basically the main group and there are 50 riders there that's 50 riders counted them myself that basically and there's me there's me kind of sat right at the back what's that like 44th so that's kind of where I was comfortable <clears throat> but then this happens. We've just finished the first lap. So we're coming into what is effectively going to be the fastest lap of the race. And I'm bowling along pretty happy. I'm going to point out a few things. The first thing is keep an eye bottom right on the screen because that's my heart rate. I'm 42 years old. During a hard and fast crit Zwift race, I will max out at 176. So anytime I'm over 170, that's threshold. I'm, way, I'm working way too hard. So this is me sitting in the group and I'm not sure what happens here but you guys can probably tell me give me a better idea it basically seems like we managed to catch the front three riders then the group sits up because I get completely just pulled through the group I'm not putting too much effort in I just get pulled my positioning is on obviously the right side of the road the guys on the left have kind of caught they've done their work they caught the three off the front and then it kind of slows down a little bit and I just get thrown in on the front. And I don't want to be here, guys. This is this is me. This isn't me kind of like making my move or anything in inverted commas like that. This is not a move. This is me just like, oh, like what am I doing here? Heart rate, 159 at the moment, but keep an eye on that. So I end up kind of reasonably close to the sharp pointy end of the race. You can see a few guys just up the road. Here I'm probably about sixth wheel, which isn't, you know, not too bad, but we're getting into the part of the course where the guys at the front like to put the effort in because obviously it's a slight incline. You come round a sharp left-hander, they're all left-handers, but this is a sharp left-hander. And this is my positioning. Anytime I was like, okay, I'm here, but I don't really wanna be here. If I stay left, it gives people more room to come round on the right. But at the same time, you know, you gotta do your work. So this is me just trying to do my work trying to stay on the group and then also hitting a 169 HR which is which is getting up there <clears throat> and as we come into this sharp corner I kind of know that right if I can get a good corner here just try and stay with these guys if I keep left some people will come around me on the corner I should be able to just work my way back through the group unfortunately it doesn't quite work out like that I get a little bit done by the guy in front of me on the corner he doesn't really take the best line and then he has to, to sprint I try and stay in the saddle and keep my work on but at this stage I'm now like maybe yeah fifth sixth wheel you can see the guys up front and I'm just like me suffering working too hard don't need to be here not enjoying it heart rate too high <laughs> I need to find a way to get back so it's basically at this point that I try and stay as left as possible the other issue that happened to me during the race was as we were coming down the effectively the back straight the start finish straight and it, it's a long straight my saddle I hit a bump and obviously you know cycling YouTuber I take my bike apart all the time to make damn videos obviously didn't torque wrench my saddle up to spec and the nose of my saddle just took a dive bomb like literally it's pointing down and you can see me there just like a little saddle pull I just had to reach down and like yank it up and it was I was kind of thinking right is this my race over because I can't sit on a saddle where the tip of is pointing at the bottom of my front wheel it was so I, luckily I managed to just like reach down yank it back up and also at that moment uh, the, the whole kind of group bowls on rides through there's Jack our young lad 18 years old I'm there doing 169 you know threshold kind of efforts like working out and, and there's him with a gel in his mouth and eventually he just kind of sits up and just kind of rides no hand to stay in the group and, and nail his gel. So shout out to Jack for uh, putting me to shame in, in every respect. But I enjoyed that. That was the hard bit of my race, you know, and I, was, I felt like being part of the group that was more towards the front. And you can see here just how kind of spread out it gets for the rest of the lap, because I was only really kind of in, in the vibe for about half the loop. And you can see that it kind of spreads out a little bit and we're getting drawn out 
And this was it for the race. This was this was how the race basically went for the two and a half hours that it took us to make it to the finish line. Was you know stringing out, coming together, stringing out, coming together. The guys went off the front early doors. We caught them. That was the effort that the group were putting in. And then I think basically some people who were who were making the attempts realised that they're not going to get away. So they might as well just chill it out completely. And this is me just basically you know the vibe of the saddle not just being an issue like rookie errors you know should have talked it up there's me just like having to reach down yank the tip of my saddle up and when I got off my bike at the end of the day uh, I went you know, yeah it wasn't in the, the best position but I've talked it to spec now I actually ran out of battery before the finish of the race two and a half hours but I'm going to throw you some drone footage again from, from Chris, who did an excellent job. And you can see here the bubble, the commissioner's cars. You can see the guy, the car at the front. You can see this is basically how the group coming down the back straight were holding together for a, maybe the third, fourth and fifth lap. So it was a 45, 50 person bunch sprint for the finish, of which I was not really involved in because although I don't have footage from my bike, here is Chris's drone footage from the finish and you can see the guys. There's 40, 45 guys that take part in this big old bunch sprint of which I was not really part of it. I did not have the legs for it. But as a noob cyclist, I really, really did enjoy my first ever road race. How'd it go? Yeah, it was fine. Fifth in the sprint, it was alright. got fifth in the sprint? Something like that. Where's that point? Did you get your points to sprint? No, I didn't get enough. That's Jack. Didn't get his points to go. What were you trying to do? Go up to Cat 2. <clears throat> yeah. That means we can race again next year. <laughs> Hands down, the best thing about. Well, there's a few good things that I really enjoyed about this race, but the best thing is. <clears throat> sorry. Is the people that I've met today. <laughs> it's, just quite, it's just really good fun. So the Paul the Wheelers had a plan <laughs> and they didn't stick to it. <laughs> but they put on a good race. Well, they kind of they kind of host it. They put on a great race. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> How many of you do you reckon were in the bunch sprint? <laughs> about ten of I was, I was there, but I, 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 I was there at the front and then just the They're physically, not emotionally. Yeah. It's probably a bit So unfortunately, my, my camera died before we made it to the sprint. And I'm sure I would have spoke, like, kind of talked you through it, but <laughs> I made it to the sprint. Which was, which was cool, but then obviously, for the actual sprint itself, I was not involved because it went, it went again, it went again, and I just couldn't. I can't. I, I didn't have that. <clears throat> um, little. I think Jack ended up coming in fifth, but he was, you know, he buzzed it past me. So, yeah, that was that was cool. That was awesome. I loved it. But now that I think about it, I loved it. So we're gonna finish this one off in here because it's super windy outside. And on that point, it stayed dry today. Conditions were <clears throat> fine for riding your bike. I think hard for bike racing because anyone that apparently, <laughs> anyone that was at the front, they were having to work super hard in the wind. So it kind of wasn't worth the effort of trying to get a breakaway because it was 10 times harder rather than like four or five times harder. So what was happening is guys were kind of going up the road a little bit and we had a few guys on, I think like the lap one and two that went up the road, but then the peloton just, just pulled them back. So it was just way easier to sit in the group. Anytime someone would try, they'd get up front, they'd realize that the wind is, is strong and they kind of end up moving back. We had a full on, what felt like an entirely neutralized lap where we were just kind of cruising around halfway through lap three, halfway through lap four. So, you know, it, there were the nuances that you get with bike racing, which was cool. The fact that the road was closed the entire time, those bike guys are just awesome at what they do. And they made sure when the guys went down the road, like I said, they made sure that no car would get in between the breakaway, you know, three, four riders and the, the peloton so that it didn't mess with the with the race 
and this is a Cat 3-4, which I didn't know that was a thing, which was which was really cool. Um, and then, you know, the guy that I spoke to earlier, Paul, who was parked up next to me, had a bit of a different race. He ended up not holding one of the wheels on, I think it was like lap one or two maybe, and they ended up in uh, effectively a selection that was behind ours. And then, you know, they had, they had, I think he said like maybe 20 riders that they ended up doing three, four laps with to then finish off the, the ride. So it was cool. It was very, very, very like different experience and um, just like it, it, I didn't realize that <laughs> that we were in, you know, <clears throat> it was a very cool experience. And every time the guys went, you know, I thought I was doing quite badly because I was like, oh, I'm just trying to hold wheels. I, I don't think I'm doing very well. But I didn't realize that people were falling, kind of not quite holding the wheel and, and every now and again, because I was so focused on trying to stay in the group, ride, ride and in my position but as we were kind of going you know doing our five loops five laps you know some some riders some riders were coming off the back and our group was getting kind of worked smaller and smaller so yeah as i said very windy it did kind of have its effect on the race you didn't feel the wind when you were in the group you know it wasn't like you're getting blown all over the place but i just think it made it harder for the guys that were working at the front and that wasn't me i you know i ended up one point by mistake near the front and i was like oh this is hard um and then i kind of just let myself come back through the group <clears throat> but good day i uh, um, big thanks to tom who was the the rd who invited me down um and he messaged me like i think it was like february he was like we've got this ride come down come down and do it you'll have fun and he was not wrong i had a lot of fun guys thanks for sticking around uh find 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 these races uh, this was hosted by british cycling as well you know you need your your race license etc um thanks for sticking around guys please do like subscribe i'll see you guys on another one soon